547 on the Sunday morning and we are waking up with some snow across the area. Snowfall totals definitely are varying around the area by quite a few inches, but we are looking at just enough where we are looking at some slick roadways. Now this is Port Washington. You can actually tell the snow here was fairly light, mainly around about an inch, if not a little less than that. And that's been the case up towards Azaki uh, into through Sheboygan and Fond du Lac County. So we've had heavier amounts farther to the south. Now, even though we haven't picked up that much snow here, that's enough to create some slick driving conditions. So make sure you take it slow as you head out the door this morning, or hopefully you can stay inside for quite a few hours. It's 11 right now in Port Washington. We're also going to have cold temperatures across the area near the lakefront. We're into the teens or at least in Milwaukee south towards Kenosha. Inland spots, we are looking at temperatures in the double digits, Whitewater, Lake Geneva and Burlington, but otherwise we do have single digits a little farther off to the northwest. And winds right now are still about 5 to 15 miles per hour, so we do have a wind chill that is making it feel a bit colder across the area. And as you head out the door today, it is going to overall feel cold. We are going to have high temperatures close to 20 towards the lakefront. Inland spots will be in the mid to upper teens, but wind chills will stay anywhere from about 5 to 10 degrees. So be prepared for chilly conditions today. But we actually have a nice bit of sunshine coming our way now that the snow is wrapping up as we speak. Again, just a few more light showers through Kenosha and Racine counties. Everyone else has finally had an end to the snow and our skies are starting to clear. But our next storm system is off to our northwest, very similar to this time yesterday where we were looking at the storm that came through last night. It's right now in North Dakota as well as southern Canada. This storm, though, is not going to be as strong as the storm that we had last night, so snowfall totals will be lighter overall, but we are still expecting a couple of inches across the area. So let's fast forward through today by 9 o'clock, looking at most of us continuing to see our skies clear by the lunch hour. Mostly sunny skies, chilly temperatures, though the sunshine will be deceiving. And don't forget your sunglasses as you step out the door. That snow will reflect some of that sunlight, making it extra bright out there. By the time we get to 5 o'clock, a couple of higher clouds streaming in. And then as we get closer to midnight tonight, we'll start to see some snow showers enter the forecast. Unfortunately, though, the timing with the next round of snow is a little bit later than the one that came through last night, which means we are going to see impacts in the morning commute tomorrow. We'll see our most snow between about 5 and 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, right during the morning commute. Snow showers will be quite spotty. Heaviest will be closer to the state line. Overall totals, one to three inches expected with tonight's snow. I'll have more in just a bit. Today, though, mostly sunny up to 20 towards the lakefront. Inland spots, mid to upper teens. Tonight, the snow moves in. We drop into the single digits in most spots across the area. Your seven day forecast. Once we get through the next storm, it gets bitterly cold. Highs will be into the double digits, but the teens, sorry, we're looking at that. And then lows in the single digits above and below zero. Ryan.